What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining back in. Uh, I know I kind of forgot to upload a video in the past couple weeks and I've, ha I've been doing a number of things. Uh, I started college classes back up. Um, I had to work on the vehicles at home. I've had out-of-state job calls. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on here, but I am trying to get us back into the swing of things. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. We are going to start moving forward again. And this video I want to go over TH3D's new firmware. Now, he's gone through a couple different revisions so far. We are now up to U1.R2.3. This is based on, well, Marlin 119, which was kind of somewhere in between the old version and the new version here. Uh, but as of September 4th, he has officially moved on to 119, and the previous versions are no longer supported. So we're gonna go over some of the additional features that are here, and well, you can decide for yourself whether or not you'd like to make the upgrade. I'll tell you right now, I definitely recommend it. So here's what's changed. The newest machine to get supported is the GTEC A10. I'm not aware of any upcoming machines after that, but this is the only one I've seen so far. Feature additions include the S-curve acceleration, junction deviation, He's added a security fix for PID tuning max temperatures and added an option to fix the CR10S touch LCD when the filament sensor is connected to the LCD instead of the mainboard. For bug fixes, we have quite a few. He's changed the Z probe low point from minus two to minus three. Now what this does is makes up for beds that are more than two millimeters out of skew, which means between the lowest point and the highest point is more than two millimeters. This will allow it to go three millimeters different. So you should still basically have your bed level, but this will compensate a little bit better. Change the default for easy ABL points to three, which by default makes this a three by three grid. Now he does suggest sticking with odd numbers, uh, so make it a 3x, a 5x, a 7x, a 9x, and he said not to go past 10. You can do 10, actually you can do more than that, but you're really just wasting your time. Um, I currently have mine set to a 7x7, and the reason for using odd numbers is to allow at least one point, both in X and Y coordinates, to be dead center of the bed. If you don't care, it's fine, but it's a suggestion from him. Easy ABL leveling grid will be retained even after a G28. If you don't know what a G28 is, that is an auto home command, which is usually run when you start a print. So as it heats up, it will auto home using G28, run it to the middle. It will then run its grid using Easy ABL. There's also a ton of code cleanup, and that can be removing obsolete code fixing code look so it's easier to, to work on, such as indents, uh, character fixes, so forth and so on. Add a check for printer model in case one isn't defined. Now this prevents you from being able to flash something inadvertently to your system and possibly butchering something up. This should help you a little bit, just in case you forgot. Uh, a number of uh, compile errors have been fixed. I personally have the A8 and E12, and I have not had any compile errors yet. These may exist on other machines, but I can neither confirm nor deny, <laughs> as they say. So, more machines are now supported with Easy Out, which I personally don't have, and I've never tried to use it, but I do understand that a lot of people would definitely like this for longer prints. Uh, intermittent filament sensor issues have been fixed, and all of the bug fixes from Marlin's official 119 have been brought over. That is a very good addition. And 119, all in itself, has a change log larger than I can go over here, and there's a lot of changes. Now, upcoming, is not currently supported, but he is working on it, for those that are curious, is the BL Touch sensor support. Now, I'm not sure what printers exactly will support this, but it is said that it is being worked on, so if you still have one of those, even though I wouldn't recommend that particular uh, bed leveling sensor, I'd actually recommend his Easy ABL sensor. But if you have ABL Touch, uh, in the future, support should be there, and I will try to go over what printers that supports at the time. 
On my end, you can check out my Patreon page. You can check out my Twitch stream, which is twitch.tv slash Midnight Ninja. Go ahead and hang there if you want to see me stream games, uh, do challenges, build runs, you name it, that kind of thing. And as always, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching. I know it's been a while. More to come. I'll see you next time.